like your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see guys good morning it's good afternoon now we're starting the vlog in the car and as you can see i don't have bangs anymore <laughs> i did wash my hair the other day and i decided that i wanted to not have bangs for this time so um i just blew them this way so now i kind of have like little curtain bangs or something day has already been very very interesting we're starting the vlog in the car so well technically i started the vlog inside of uh the great escape so we went to this other place called the great escape in nashville because they have a few locations so the one that is closest to us we went last week so ref got like up some stuff last week but then he found out that they were having like a uh, a big sale at the one in Nashville. They opened two hours early. You could get 10 free items in like at the outside section, but then inside is where everything, like all the good stuff was. So we went there, they had a 20% off the entire store. It was so great. So Raph found some really nice things. I found one game that I'm really excited about because I played it on the PC on Steam and I really liked it, but I found it for the PS4 hopefully it works with the ps5 i'm not sure oh he really wants to show you what he found <laughs> you want to talk about it no no it's fine. so he found a ps1 he's been looking and scouring uh for a ps1 um like the fat one is especially like specifically he didn't want the slim version so he found it there and we also found a record player look it's back there it doesn't look like a record player right now but the top opens i'm so excited it technically it has like an old look to it but the guy said it technically is a more modern one but it is a record player it has a cd player and it has a cassette player on the side excuse me that's so cool and then raf got a bunch of other kind of games and stuff so i will show you those later but right now we are at dunkin donuts getting breakfast because i have not eaten and it's nearly 12. i woke up at 8 this morning we had to rush to get to the great escape place because they opened two hours early they opened at 10. we're back we're almost back home and then i have dnd at noon so I'm rushing. But anyways, I'm gonna go right now. We're fixing to get the food, so I'll catch up here in a minute. Herbal is dragging a small half-elven girl closer to the uh, closer to the stone itself. Notably unseen, your uh, memories. Sp Sparky is unseen. There is another thing to note. Sparky yeah. does see an obelisk doubt to the, uh, the very side as well. Ref got it working while I was at D&D. Look at this little area though. It's so cute. I think we're gonna put the Marilyn Monroe picture like up here or something. I'm not entirely sure, but oh my God, I love it so much. It even makes like the crackle sound. I love that. That's my favorite part. And then let me come over here and show you the rest of the stuff that Ralph got. I really hope this song isn't copyrighted. <laughs> okay, here is the rest of the stuff that Ralph got. He got, of course, the PlayStation 1 that he's very excited about. And he got a controller with it like all the cables. And then he got a PS1 game, Need for Speed. He got Warhammer, Shadow of the Horned Rat. And then he got Final Fantasy Tactics. Man, I can't believe Final Fantasy is that old of a game. Um, he got Twisted Metal 2. And then this one that he said was really hard to find, Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen. It's $39, so I guess it must have been kind of a rare find. They had like a ton of like rare stuff. Like they had like the original Mega Man, they had the original Zeldas and stuff. And a lot of these were going for like two, three, 400 bucks. It was insane. And then he got Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, and Dark Alliance 2. And then I, this is the game that I got. <laughs> it's called uh, Armello. And I played it on Steam. And it was really, really fun. And I really enjoyed it. So I want to play it tonight with Raph. So, yeah. 
that is what we got. And now I'm going to have some dinner because I'm starving. But yeah, that's all for right now. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm back home from D&D, &D, you guys. D&D was so much fun. It was so much fun. We had like our first big boss battle. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I know people don't care. But we had our first big boss battle and we kicked the boss's ass. Like they stood no chance. Anyways, uh, that's all I'm gonna talk about for now. That's all we're gonna do for now. I think we're gonna get in bed, play that new game. I'm very excited about it. I'm so obsessed with the record player. Anyways, oh, also I gotta show you. On the record player, it's got, of course this, and then it has a CD, like a CD thing here and a cassette player on the back. How cool is that? It technically is a bit modern, but it has like an old timey feel. Raph wants to go to an antique store and get like a gramophone. <laughs> so that'd be really fun as well. But I like this one. I like the look, I like the vibe. I like this setup on the piano. So yeah, I'm obsessed. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It is Sunday now and I'm just chilling. I'm hanging out. I slept very good last night. I don't know what it is, but like I've gotten to the point to where like I cannot stay up past like 11, 30, 12. Like I try so hard. Like I start falling asleep <laughs> in the bed and then I like sit up and like try to stay up later sometimes. But I just, I can't do it. I don't know what it is. I'm always just so sleepy at like 11, 30, 12, something like that. So I slept good last night. Yesterday in general was just a very hectic day. Today, I do have some other things I need to do. I'm gonna try to get my nails done today. These ones I've had on for like two and a half weeks and they're kind of getting too long. <laughs> so I need to get them taken care of. I wanna see if I can do my natural nail today uh, and have Mifa take off the acrylic or whatever it is on here. So I texted her to see if I could book an appointment but she hasn't texted me back yet. So I'm sure she'll, they open at 10, so I'll probably just call or go in at 10 or something. But I also need to do some returns. I need to do a return uh, at UPS. I need to send something back that I got. And then I need to ship out two items that someone ordered from my Poshmark. And then I need to go to Sephora and do a return at Sephora. I also need to do a, I also need to technically do a return at Ulta because I ordered the Dyson Corral. I don't know why. <laughs> I tried the Dyson Corral when it first came out, like a year ago, year and a half ago. I don't remember when it came out, maybe two years ago. Has it been out for that long already? I don't know. But I tried it out then and I thought it was fine, but I didn't like love it. And I have my Kristen S straightener that I use all the time and that I like a lot. But then I saw that they had a really nice fancy color <laughs> of the Dyson Corral and I bought it again, only for the color. Um, but the thing is, is that I still don't like it that much and I don't know why I bought it. So I'm probably going to return that. Maybe I'll keep it for like a couple, like, like, like another week or something just so I can like really try it out and use it. I did straighten my hair with it the other day. How do we like the no bangs situation? I, I don't love how short these little pieces are. I don't think I look good with curtain bangs. I don't know. You let me know. But yeah, I also wanted to quickly just do a little unboxing with you. I didn't want to make a whole video about it just because I feel like I've been doing too many unboxings. I need to get back to doing like, like regular content. So I thought that I would just do the unboxing in this vlog. As you can see, we have something from Dior. I mean, obviously it's not like a bag or anything like that. It is a accessoire and the box is like a navy blue, like a dark blue. Um, and here it is. Now you probably know what I got based off of the, the case here. Yeah, look at these. These are the sunglasses that I have been wanting for so, so long. I have been wanting these for months. They say Christian Dior on the sides. I have been wanting these sunglasses for months. Like I love them. They're so cool. They look amazing and they're like my favorite sunglasses. Well, one of my favorites. And I got these from Neiman Marcus the other day 
and why well, didn't I actually go to Neiman Marcus I don't think we have one here but I ordered them online but I really really like them and I'm excited to have them these are definitely gonna be like my fall sunglasses I do think they kind of give off a fall vibe if I do say so myself I think these give off more of like a fall winter vibe than a summer vibe I don't know but I really like them and I think they are awesome they say Christian Dior on the inside as well if you see that but yeah um, I like these a lot I just thought that I would show them to you and unbox them very quickly <laughs> and yeah I've actually been already wearing these I just wanted to do the unboxing so yeah that's pretty much it right now I want to give you a little update on my work situation I know I can't say very much because I don't want to I don't know it's like a work thing so I don't know I do have a supervisor that me and her do not um our personalities just don't mesh well together and I'm not having a very good time on her team. I feel like my hair looks really flat. I don't know, but I'm not having a very good time on her team. So on Saturday, I did email her supervisor and I requested a skip level meeting, which is basically it goes over her and it goes straight to her supervisor. I was hoping to hear back from him on Friday. But I didn't so hopefully I uh, hopefully I'll hear back from him on Monday about that I just want off her team that's all I want I'm not trying to like get her in trouble I just all I want is just off her team that's it I just want to go to another team just because she's making my life hell on that team I think that's all I can really say I'll keep you posted about it but yeah I'll talk to you later we're getting lunch and I'm having some soup Rap got soup, and then we're both getting pasta, and I'm very excited about that, but this soup is just so freaking good. Look at that. It's chicken and rice soup. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're back home now. As you can tell, me and Raph went to eat in the last clip. I'm trying not to walk too fast with the mic on because I've realized that if I turn really quickly, or something you can like it goes whoosh, like past the mic and that's not very fun <laughs> so where's my phone so i'm trying to not move too quickly with the mic anymore so and now i do have a nail appointment at two. Oh my god it's almost 1 40. i didn't realize what time it was mifa texted me and she was like well earlier today i had asked her i had said hey can i book an appointment with you and she said i'm busy today and i said oh my god okay um, well, I didn't say oh my god, but I was just like like oh my gosh Like I didn't know that you were already gonna be so booked. That's that's what I mean, but I was like, oh, okay I said well if any if any of your people cancel let me know when she said she would so she texted me here like 30 minutes ago And she was like hey, I could see you at two and I was like sick I'm excited. Um, so what I'm gonna do I I don't know if I am going to get the acrylic again. I told her that I might want to take the acrylic off. Whatever is easier for her at this time, it's because I know she's so busy, like back to back to back. So just whatever is easier for her, if taking the acrylic off and doing my natural nails is easier, great. Or if um, just doing the acrylic again, doesn't matter. Just as long as my natural nails, like if we can do like dip powder maybe, just as long as my natural nails are still like hard i don't know because my natural nails are very flimsy and they'll break if you look at them the wrong way <laughs> it's ridiculous so yeah just as long as my nails kind of still remain hard so if i smack them against something they won't just snap off but yeah now that i know what time it is i'm gonna go ahead and go <laughs> uh yeah i'll see you here in a little bit and i'll show you my nails okay i'm back and here's my nails they look so good the video isn't doing them justice. Like, they look really nice. They're like a pearly French tip kind of thing. That's my left hand. Let me see if my right hand, if you can tell any better. Yeah, I think you might be able to tell better on my right hand. But they're like, they're kind of like a pearly French tip situation. They're really, I, I like them a lot. They're pretty. We had some freaking drama at the nail salon today. There was like, 15 minutes after I got there, there was this lady that came in and she was like demanding that Mifa fix her nails uh, like right now. And she said that, that her nails had broke 
off like had broke like from the bottom and apparently Mifa knew this person that she did this other person's nails Mifa had told her that what she wanted wasn't going to work like it apparently was going to break like she knew it was going to break and she ch apparently tried to tell this person this but they didn't listen and they just wanted to do it anyways I switched you to my big camera because my other camera you could see every single pore on my face. So I switched to this camera. <laughs> Anyways, now, um, Mifa told this lady that what she wanted wasn't going to work and they were going to break because they weren't strong enough. So apparently this lady was like, I don't care and still do it. So she did and then, or they did, and she came back today saying that they all broke. And Mifa was like, I told you this was what was gonna happen, you know? Mifa was like, listen, we can't do it right now. Like the, we we don't we only have one nail tech in, which is me that does acrylic on the, on Sunday, and it's only by appointment. And it was just like a whole fiasco thing. So this lady ended up getting her toenails done, like her getting a pedicure, while I was still getting my nails done. She finished with her pedicure, sat in a chair, and just like waited until Mifa was done with me, and then the whole time she was just like, "How much longer is this going to take?" How much longer is it gonna take? This is ridiculous. This is not cool, lady. You know, you did my nails last time and now they're broken. How much longer is it gonna take? And I'm just like over here like, Mifa, I am so sorry that this is happening. And Mifa was like, yeah, I know. She does this every time she comes in here. And it was just, uh, I feel, I just felt really bad. And afterwards, after she got her toes done and she was sitting there for a little while, she just got up and left and didn't pay for her pedicure. If you're somebody that it, any kind of customer service, if you be nice to people in customer service, be nice to people that give you a service and actually listen to what they're gonna say. Like the people in that certain profession know how to do said profession. So be nice to them and actually take what they say into consideration. And like, if they say that you, if you try to do dip powder, I don't really know exactly what happened because I don't know. But for example, I guess, if they say, if you do only dip powder with nails that long, it's not going to be strong enough and it's not going to last. If she says, if you know, if they tell you that, maybe take it into consideration and you know, believe them. And just in general, just be nice to them because they're doing a service for you. I don't know. That's my end. Of, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Anyways, I think that uh, me and Raph are going to just get in bed and have like an early night and play that new game that I got yesterday. Just have a nice time. But yeah, these are my nails. I actually really, really love them. I think they're really classy, really pretty. Um, they're not very fall, but I feel like these types of nails are just kind of like an all like all year kind of nail so anyways yeah that's uh that's the update and i will let you know when something else interesting happens bye oh my goodness do you see this i feel like that tiktok oh my goodness what a doonin are you the most handsome bobansom in the suntan and woods are you the most beautiful oh yes you are baby <laughs> You're the most handsome Bobansom in the Tuesday morning woods. You is. <laughs> Let me know if you've seen that TikTok. It's so funny.